What's up you guys, welcome to Transformation. My name's John Glott and I lost over 160 pounds, going from obese to beast. Now I'm on a quest to share your stories and inspire others to transform their lives. Today we'll meet Inez, whose three-year-old son inspired her to lose over 100 pounds. And with her newfound passion for running, she's already finished three marathons and is just getting started. Welcome to Transformation. What's up, Inez? Super excited to have you on the show. Let's dive in and hear a little bit more about your story. All right, sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm really interested to hear about how did you end up gaining the weight? What was that process like? I worked overnight and my coworkers were very nice and generous. So they were always buying me like burgers and stuff. And then when I'd get home, I would go to sleep. No exercise, no walking, nothing. That's That was my life for like two years. Mm -hmm. So you have your son and then I know that you have a really the story about your click moment. So I would love to hear what, what, what happened that day. I had taken him to go see the glass bottom boat tour and I asked someone to take a picture of us. And so I'm holding him. And then after I go look at the picture, it's like, I couldn't see my neck. I couldn't see it. Like my face was just horrible. I had acne and pimples and it was just, I mean, I was eating a lot of fried foods, you know, and I had trouble breathing and I'm like, man, and he's so hyper and he's active. And there was several times that I would feel like my leg fall asleep. Mm -hmm. One time it happened even when I was driving a couple of times and that frightened me because I had Cyrus in the back mm -hmm. and my foot fell asleep and I'm like, okay, well, you know, you kind of start to panic. I'm mm -hmm. like, no, and I switch feet. And so obviously I knew something was wrong. Like I, my knees were bothering me. The following morning, I woke up and I was like, God, I don't want to be this way anymore. Mm -hmm. Literally, I sat on the edge of my bed and I said, I don't want to be this way anymore. And from that moment, I changed. So what were the first steps that you decided to take? Honestly, I just started walking at my job. Like on my break, I would walk laps in the garage. Just started walking laps and um, researching how to eat healthy because I never knew. And then afterwards, when I saw that I lost some weight, then I was like, okay, let me pay for the gym. Were there coworkers that knew that you were doing this to try and lose weight? They were supportive. I had so many supportive people. Like they even uh, started buying me workout clothes. Oh, wow. They stopped buying me food. <laughs> they even, you know, when they would bring food, they would bring me salad, but they would like, they would even tell me, you know what, go ahead and take your break a little bit longer if you want to walk more. So mm -hmm. they helped me. When you first started, you had a goal, right? It was 30, was it 31 pounds by 31 years old? Yeah. So can you, can you tell me a little bit more about that and how that happened? I started January 22nd, 2013. My birthday, March 14th. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do 31 pounds on my 31st birthday and did the exercise, did the eating. I just focused on what I wanted and I ended up losing the weight. 34 pounds two weeks before my 31st birthday. Awesome, so you just smashed that goal then. I was like Forrest Gump. I'm like, well, if I've gone this far, <laughs> let me just keep on going. And just somewhere, I don't, honestly, I don't even remember when it got to the point that I lost over 100 pounds. It just, it just happened kind mm -hmm. of. I know that you've mentioned uh, you started walking, but now I know that you absolutely love running, right? You love run marathons. So can you tell me how that went from you loved walking to you all of a sudden loved running? It started, I would started running laps and it would take me like 15 minutes to do one mile. And I was like, uh, and I just kept on going and going and, and I enjoy the peace it gives me when I run. I enjoy, like I don't run with music ever. Mm -hmm. I just like to hear my feet hit the pavement. Mm -hmm. I like to hear my heartbeat going really fast. And I can give back, like I do running, I'm also able to uh, reach out to people, telling them that I'm running this marathon for a uh, charity. And I'm able to raise funds and help give back on top of me enjoying what I love. How many marathons have you ran now? A total of three full marathons, because I did New York on November 1st, and then I did South Padre Island on November 14th. What's going through your head when you cross that finish line? Like, because I know four years ago, if I told you, hey, you're gonna be running marathons. What would you have said to me? Yeah, right? I mean, like, what's a marathon? Netflix or something? <laughs> a Netflix marathon? <laughs> yeah, I can do those. No problem. Um, well, New York was different. I had never been to New York. It was on my bucket list. And and then I had the opportunity to run the marathon. I was like, it's amazing finishing it. It's like, you know, to all those people that didn't believe in me or told me that, you know, even when I lost the weight, there were still people that would say, well, well, you never, you know, I told them that I was going to run a marathon. You can't do it. Okay, well, I'll show you. Now that you've been on this journey for a while, what it, have, have your goals changed at all? Well, when I started, I wanted to get healthy for me, for my son. I wanted to uh, 
lose the weight. And now obviously it's for me to maintain and maybe tone up more and stuff like that. But in the process, I want to be able to help people and inspire them. Like I want to be able to say I tried everything I could and so I can be as long around as long as I can for Cyrus. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm going to do everything possible. I'll drop the weight, get healthy. And, you know, if it's my time to go, then, you know, it's I did everything possible to stay longer. What would be your biggest tip that you could give to someone that's trying to go on the same journey that you've been on? Never give up and be proud for every moment, like every accomplishment. Some people, they're focused on the scale. I mean, I would say go by the inches. Be happy that you've lost inches. Little by little, the scale will go down. And if you lose half a pound or or whatever it is, be happy and be proud by like, you know what, I didn't gain it, I lost it, I'm there, I'm doing better. Just stay, be happy, be proud of yourself. I totally agree, that's that's great advice. And I, I really appreciate you being on the show today. I, I'm glad that you were able to share all of your insight and I'm just really happy that you were here. Thank you, thank you for having me, I truly appreciate it, very thankful. Having Inez on the show has really brought up two points that I feel like are very important. Lesson number one is baby steps. They're so important. Little changes that you make can be huge in the long run. Lesson number two is falling in love with fitness. It's obvious that Inez loves running and it's more than just working out for her. It really is a way of life and that really makes maintaining a lot easier. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button for more videos like this every single week and leave a comment if you have anything that you wanna say. Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you next week.